only one man can play. We're all part of the uh, White House Historical Association film here. We're all going to be famous. Years from now, <laughs> years from now, someone will say, "Who is this guy, Bill Small, and why does he say those terrible things about you?" <laughs> White House Historical Association. That's right. It's non-sound film, standard briefing rules. They're all from New York or something. <laughs> okay, are we all ready to begin here? Is everybody uh, filtering in? We're getting kind of a... Uh... Yes. That's right. Capitalism at its best. Have you taken those tabs over to the Soviet Embassy to... Uh... Johnny Roth has got the hats. Does it say uh, U.S. on the front and Soviets on the back or anything? A little inflation. Johnny and Larry have got the concession here, huh? I've got to tell you, I didn't make it after all. All right. Uh, ran off with the briefing. Well, it's true, it's true. I, I, actually, I was out here an hour and 20 minutes yesterday for a new world's record. Well, so were we. Yeah, but most of it was absolutely nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it, led, it led your network. All right, on Friday, December 4, the president will attend the swearing-in of Mr. Don Wilson of Abilene, Kansas as the seventh archivist to the United States. The ceremony will be in the main rotunda of the National Archives building. Approximately 125 guests will be attending, and the president will have brief remarks. The motorcade departs the White House at 11 o'clock. Uh, it's important because the National Archivist is in charge of all the nation's uh, uh, documents and uh, founding um, historical materials. And uh, it might even be an opportunity to talk about the rich history of the United States as we uh, prepare for this uh, prepare for this Soviet summit. Motorcade departs the White House at 11 o'clock. The president makes remarks at 11:25 and returns 11:50. On uh, Sunday evening, uh, tomorrow is Friday. I'll be right here. Uh, okay, on Sunday evening, December 6th, the President and Mrs. Reagan will attend the 10th Annual Kennedy Center Honors Gala. This year's nominees are Sammy Davis Jr., Perry Como, Betty Davis, Nathan Milstein, and Alwyn Nikolai. Honorees, I said. Earlier, the President will host a reception for the honorees at the White House. And uh, motorcade departs the White House at 7.25 p.m. and returns at approximately 10.10. Coverage by travel pool only. Uh, Saturday, we'll have a uh, briefing at the press center at the Commerce Department. And uh, I don't believe he will. This will be a background briefing at 11 o'clock by Undersecretary Armacost, Assistant Secretary Ridgeway, and Assistant Secretary Shifter on Summit Press themes. I said it's on background. The President makes radio address to the nation. Oh, the, the uh, briefing itself, you mean? I'm sorry. It is on the record, yes. Yes, 11 o'clock. Summit press, summit press themes. It's unlikely that it will be material that you haven't heard before, but we'll have 5,000 new people there to hear it again. And uh, I won't say it, Bob. Yes, I will. The president has a radio address Saturday at 12.06. Be summit related. Um, yes. Back to Friday. Is George Shultz on the newspaper Uh, Friday. No, I don't believe so. 
At Friday, we have a backgrounder in this briefing room at 2 o'clock by Bob Oakley, Peter Rodman, Jim Kelly, and Jose Serrano. Serzano. And uh, let's see, Secretary Schultz has a speech to the World Affairs Council at 3 o'clock on regional issues, yes. Secretary Schultz speaks to the Washington World Affairs Council at 3.30. I don't have a location on that, but the State Department can provide it. Any backgrounders today here? Not today. You want one? It's on Friday. Friday, 3.30. Johanna, please go ahead. Okay, well, um, no. all right. Okay. I appreciate your comments. They're very well taken. I'll take them into consideration. Okay, let's go through today's schedules. 9 o'clock staff time, 9.30 national security briefing. Uh, you all attended the uh, human rights event. At 11, the, uh, well, the uh, appropriate officials attended. That's true. At 11.45, the president will swear in Jim Burnley as Secretary of Transportation in the Roosevelt Room. Uh, he has an interview with the network anchors at 2.30. We will release the transcript at 5 o'clock, embargoed for 6.30 p.m. release. Uh, all of the networks had requested interviews some time ago. However, uh, this specific uh, uh, event was a part of a package that we had recommended uh, several weeks or not, probably a couple of months ago. And so uh, basically I called the networks and offered it to them. Did you, did you set the ground rules? And what are the ground rules? The ground rules are that it's uh, for embargoed for 8 o'clock release with uh, excerpts available at 6.30. Six, are there any uh, understanding as to areas of questioning or purpose of the interview, meaning what kind of questions would be appropriate? Just, it's on the summer. Um, there is also is there a format that the question is that? Pardon? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. Is there any understanding that non-summit-related questions would be out of that? Um, well, I haven't had any uh, calls from the network anchors about that, uh, but it was the understanding it was about the summer. We haven't discussed it. With the bureau chiefs and the network uh, presidents or vice presidents, whoever they talk to in New York, I never quite know for sure who those high muckety mucks is. It's, uh, it's on the summit. David? Pardon? Yes. Any, they can choose any five minute exit. That's correct. And can you also, uh, in the format, there's some question of one round of questions with no, can you the format? Yeah, I'd rather not go through that here. That's all been worked out with the networks. And uh, although you are a part of the network, I know that you're, the rest of the people in your network are fully aware of how this will work. Well, it never got here. No, I, 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 I heard it. Let me ask you from reading the New York Times. Do you have an understanding with the networks? No, that some of related questions are the only questions that will be asked. Well, we didn't really go into it. I said it would, yeah. The, uh, the, discuss, the discussions were that it would be on the summit, and that's the way it was agreed to by the networks. In other words, you feel that there is an existing agreement between the White House and the Foreign Affairs. Let's not push this. We didn't, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I do, yes. So the, therefore, therefore, therefore non-summit questions are out of bounds. I don't, uh, I think uh, we've discussed this enough. I don't want to go any further with it. I've talked to the bureau chiefs. I'll be glad to call your network president and discuss it with him if he'd like. Sa Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, please go ahead. <laughs> no, we have uh, a number of, of uh, press events involving uh, print media uh, have had in the last several weeks, so it's, a, it's an attempt to try to do a little bit for everybody. The networks have higher visibility, so you 
kind of see them. But. We had uh, bureau chiefs a couple weeks ago. We'll have uh, some uh, columnists uh, in a few days. We'll have uh, regional press in the end of next week. So there's a lot of opportunities. Do you know what you just said, Mark? You have but, absolutely not talked about the White House press card. Columnists, regional press, so and so. What, where do we come in? We've had uh, briefings here for the White House press corps. We've had briefings here four days this week. Well, the president can do everybody. We have to make some decisions. You pick, chick, chick. Pardon? Well, we have all kinds of, uh, of interactions with the press scheduled. I've uh, got about 20 pages of various events, briefings by uh, officials at every level, presidential meetings, president, and well, so forth. Well, who wants to talk to the assistant secretary of state about something? You want to talk to the president? Well, you know, I think you have to draw the line somewhere. I'm sorry. He just doesn't have time to talk to everybody. Wendell? Well, you made a with, with the uh, You see the president every day. Wendell? Oh, Wendell, go ahead. Oh, it hadn't been discussed. I have no idea. Steve? One more point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have very tried levels of setting up. I don't know. <clears throat> it's exclusive to the network, so I don't know how you do it from there. Well, once you release the transcript, I don't know. There's no no special plans for it as far as I'm concerned. I don't know how you do it. <laughs>